Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on my own car, a Renault Megane Mark III 2013. And the issue that I had lately is the heater control light bulb for the left, you have two light bulbs here. One for the left hand side blown last week. So I went to Halfords, bought one of them, 509T. That's the type of light bulb. This is the one that was there. This is the original one. And I replaced it. But I didn't replace the right hand side one and guess what this week this one's gone It's not something that's gonna affect Drivability, but for sure it's so annoying and I drive this car at night most of the time I'm gonna take you through how to remove the heater control panel Which involves like removing the radio this front fascia and a couple panels here and The same thing goes if you need to do any work on the radio the start button uh, the key slots, if you have any problem with the switch, is, is a switch inside there. If you have any problem to get access to those two parts, you're going to have to remove, the, go through the same procedure. And also the 12 volts accessory here. And also it seems like quite a daunting task, because you can't see any screws or anything. I have to say it's a, an amazing design, super easy. Tools needed for the job, Torx 20, panel removing tool and that radio removing tool. That's all we're gonna need. I also went ahead and I bought some LEDs, light bulb that I wanted to try. First, first of all, we need to remove this panel and this other panel here is only held by some metal clips. So first of all, I'm gonna pull the steering wheel up, use my panel removing tool so I don't scratch anything. And I'm gonna pry this panel off. Three metal clips that holds in place. Second panel. Open the glove compartment and just pry it at the bottom here. There we go, super easy. Next, the fascia. Just pull at the bottom. It comes off again. Disconnect. 12 volts accessory and the power button that's removed now we can see the two t20 screws that we have to remove So at this point our heater control is, is loose but what I'm going to do to give you more space because we have to turn it um, I'm going to remove the radio that's where we need to use this tool here on the side just press on the side try to pull there we go gonna leave the radio hanging like that so now we have more room to, to work with make sure you put all those two metal or plastic little bits there now you can see the two cables now that we have to remove both is, is the same so if you pull on that tab just make sure don't break it you can remove the cable out and then this other side this other side you just pull the tab back 
or push the tab back and then release the cable. Same the other side. Try not to get in the way. Right, move the cable first. Pull the tab. And the cable is removed. So these are the two bulbs that illuminate the whole control unit. So as you can see they are different. This is the original one. And this is one that I bought from Halfords the other day. So I'm gonna turn the lights on. And as you can see, you can see the lights there illuminating. Nothing on the right hand side. So I'm gonna remove them and replace. I wanna try that LED to see what it's like. Just twist it and pull. Same. The right hand side one. Seems a bit wonky. There we go. Now let's try the LED ones first. See what's like. Right, both sides working as it should. I don't know if I like the blue tinge of the LED light, but it's definitely working now, both sides. I hope I'll be able to see it because it's daylight. I gotta put the, the normal bulb back in and see what's like. Right, so I fitted the, the Hanford's 509T bulbs, normal bulb, as you can see. And I think I prefer it. Call me old school, but it seems to illuminate further than the LED. You know, it's not just the color of the LED that's sl slightly blue, but it seems to illuminate further. So I'm just gonna leave this one. This seizure made, I don't like the LEDs, so I just kind of leave the normal bulb. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you need to do anything with the, the card switch, it's just here, you have to go through the same procedure. The start button is there, the same again, you know, if you need to do anything with that, replace it, you have to go through the same process, the radio. That's it guys for this week. Very easy job, but for sure very rewarding. Super annoying not to have those lights, especially when you're driving at night time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video helps. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Akar's Exposed. I'm gonna be posting pictures of the panel working properly. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.